Hey girls, it's Monday. It is really, really late, and I'm sorry that this video is up so late. I've gotten really, really bad at posting videos in a timely fashion, but I will try and get on that um, next week, definitely. Uh, this week, uh, we don't really have a theme, but I want to discuss the whole Coney 2012 campaign. Um, so I'm just going to voice some opinions. I'll link some articles that I read in the downstairs bar. Um, and if you girls could respond this week with your thoughts and feelings about it, then it'd be cool because I feel like it's a very important topic and it's very relevant right now. And we should talk about it because I'm interested to hear your opinions about it. When I first watched the video, I was hooked on it, um, which I don't think was the best thing for me to feel. I mean, like, it was a very brilliant video. It was very well done film, short film. Um, but then looking into it more, I don't know if I fully support it. I don't know if I fully support Invisible Children or what the project stands for. I feel like this project could be done better with charity that does more in-depth work, like, like World Vision because I don't think that Invisible Children helps the people in Africa that have personally been victimized by Kony in the recent past. I feel like the people who have been victimized by him many years ago have gotten back on their feet and are doing fine, and I think that's fantastic, but I feel like the people who are being attacked right now need our help. And personally, I don't know if people are being attacked right now. There are very different arguments about it, um, but I feel like if there are, we need to go find them and help them. There's also those rumors that Kony might be dead somewhere in the Congo, and I don't, I really don't know what to believe in this situation, because it's very possible. Ever since um, in December, when he found out that the United States troops were being sent into Africa, he's just been hiding in the Congo. And so it is very possible that he has starved to death, has just wasted away somewhere, and has died a long time ago. Uh, but we don't know that he could still be out there. So I feel like those hundred troops could still be helpful in a way. My playwriting teacher was talking about this and he had this whole idea that we should just send in like 10,000 troops and like helicopters and basically just swarm the entire jungle and we could find him really quickly. But I don't think he knew a lot of the background research and the background stuff. I feel like that could be possible, but we need our troops here. Uganda is not in our foreign policy. We really don't need to help them. Of course, it's fantastic that we are, and I think those hundred people that are out there serving as U.S. troops in Uganda right now are being extremely helpful, and I am extremely grateful, maybe the word is, for them being out there. And I'm extremely proud to say that I can live in a country where the people can stand up for what they believe in and actually do something about it and actually get our government's attention and actually get them to do something. I just don't know if we're handling it in the right way. And I don't know if this project is going to do anything because if this video already has what now like over 80 million views and counting, people know about him. There are six billion people on this planet and over half of them do not own a computer, but I'm sure by word of mouth, this video has gotten around to so many more people than just those 80 million. I know of people who haven't watched the video who have just heard about it and are too lazy to go watch the video, but know about him. That isn't that the whole point of the project is to make him famous. And I feel like we've reached that point. He's famous now where do we go from there? That video didn't have a lot of information about what we need to do now, what we need to do after we make him famous. So great, we've made him famous. What now? I feel like this video was very jumbled and I didn't have a script written out for it. I just kind of like rambled. Um, and I kind of feel like I should voice a couple more opinions in the downstairs bar. Um, so I will do that. I'll type out a little thing if you want to read it. Um, and I'm going to link a few articles that I read going against the Coney argument thing. Um, <laughs> and yeah, Kelly, I'll see you tomorrow. I really hope we can have this discussion. And also, girls, remember when I said that I hope we post videos every day in March? Good job on not doing that. Okay.
Bye.